And it turns out a lot of people are escaping New York State at least oh. because we have a clear picture of exactly what's been going on with people leaving New York. We know it's one of the popular destinations across the country, but according to the new migration data from the U.S. Census Bureau, more than a half a million New York residents relocated to different states mm. in 2022. Now, the most popular state may not surprise yeah. you that much, Florida. Over 90,000 okay, people okay. continue Warmth. the longtime tradition of going south, ditching the winters, the rats, all the frustrations, and instead going for year-round summers, and yes, those alligators. And gators. Yeah. That's what you <laughs> traded us in for. I know. Uh, but, I mean, alligator or rat? Mm. They have rats, too, by the way. Anyway, uh, I mean, yes. the gator could take your baby now. Okay. That's well, true. That's, that's Let's take a closer look point. at the other top destinations. Where are people leaving New York to go to, right? Um, people might be leaving New York. Um, but they're not necessarily leaving the region, though. Take a look at this. About 170,000 New Yorkers moved to New Jersey, okay. Connecticut, or Pennsylvania, three states that I have lived in. Mm -hmm. um, so I get it. The cost of living there is much cheaper. And it's still um, in the area, perhaps. And you know? it's still within yeah. the area, yeah. right? Uh, California and Texas were the next most popular destinations. Um, also, a special shout-out to the 52 New York residents who decided South Dakota. Only 52. So that was, like, the least um, destination, desirable destination to go to, but yeah, 52 yeah. To, to South Dakota. So I want to hear what the people are saying. <laughs> what are the people saying about this? Check it out. Is there anything that would force you, you know, to move out and move away from the city, move away from the state? Well, I actually did, like last year, but I ended up moving back because it's, it was too slow. But New York is expensive, okay. but the money is here. And then, like me leaving, it made me appreciate New York City even more. I can't lie. This is a strong Democrat, Democrat state. Things need to tighten up a bit. You know, everything's a little too loose. And it seems like it's getting worse. Perhaps to a warmer climate later on. I just thought of that this morning or yesterday. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be warmer over the next few days. <laughs> so maybe don't leave just yet. <laughs> Come on, don't you love the season? But I mean, I think it's very interesting, the perspectives of New Yorkers, why they leave. You wonder, like, who who's moving back? Yeah. Well, who's moving back? Because what? 301,000 well, people that's the interesting moved thing. into New York. So, yeah, you look at this, right, Brittany? Yeah, so it, it's probably worth noting that the Empire State welcomed about 301,000 new residents in 2022, the most New York has seen in a decade. Yeah, see, and okay. so I feel like it's kind of been like that for a while, right, where you have people leave, whether it's Florida or South right. Dakota or wherever else they're going, but you have but the... You always have the people who are moving in. Particularly the younger group that comes in chasing and dreams. That was what I was yes, looking up. I was trying to see, like, who are they? So, yes, they are uh, the young younger uh, generation that are moving into New York City. I guess they don't know better just yet, right? <laughs> I mean, no, but, they, great but, they're, but they're coming here to work yeah. in tech um, and, and, and health startups, which are popping up everywhere, as, exactly. as we've been reporting. And this one young woman said, um, it's invigorating and life-affirming to live in New York. It's yeah. the center of the universe. But then those same young people say, when it's time to look for that apartment. That's tough. True. That, that is true. when it is a really tough go. You cannot replicate this energy. And I know this no. is a New York State poll and survey and, and research and all that, but New York City is unlike any other city on the planet. So people, you know, whether you love it or hate it, it is the most unique place in the entire world. And being young too, it is a little bit cheaper. That was one of the factors that came into play when me and my husband moved up here. Yes. We don't have kids, so, you know, one bedroom is cheaper than a two bedroom. Those two, the two dogs don't have their own setup <laughs> They yet? have a corner. <laughs> they want to take over your whole they have spot. their own bed. <laughs> anyway, it's something you, you made great points. We'll see. Very interesting. Yeah.